What's going on everyone, Minikin Man here back with another video on the channel today. I hope you're all doing well and hope you're all ready for these three fixtures I have lined up for you today. Starting with probably the hardest of the three, Chelsea, who uh, for some reason playing the back five, which is which is a lot of fun in the Premier League when you're Chelsea. I suppose they probably need it because how bad they've been in real life. But um, the first thing I really wanted to talk to you about is the couple of signings I made before the transfer deadline day. Um, I've, I've gone for some like quite, you know, easy players, you know, safe, easy players. Um, Vardiol, uh, who is 85 rated, has mad pace. I, th I figured I'd get him because although Big Andy and Jackson are alright, um, I just want higher rated players with better stats. Because um, if we want to start winning everything again, we're going to need these kind of players. So um, I've gone for him and then at left back I've gone for another easy safe option in Nuno Mendes. Nuno Mendes, um, who as you can probably tell is like, well let's compare the stats for him and um, yeah, Serrano just, he, he, he looks alright actually Serrano but this is our last season, this is why I bought these players, this is probably going to be the last season of Karumo, there's, there's literally no point just, you know, waiting for these players to rank up or um, might as well just get these high rate players in the team. Um, and I think both of them cost like 70 million, so um, that's not actually too bad considering how well how I know they'll play well in game. But anyway, let's get into the first match of the video. Um, gonna be playing the first team obviously with these two new players, and we should hopefully get a result here because looking at the team now, I mean, lowest rate is Jackson, but I mean, most of the team's 85 rated or higher, especially those front three who are all 90, so um, let's get right into it. Okay, here we are at Stamford Bridge. Um, it's been a little while since I actually recorded the last video, but I, I think we got three wins in the last one. Uh, we have won every match so far, I believe, in the in the season. And I think Chelsea will be a tough test because, well, we had it quite easy last time. Right? We had what? We had Watford, Everton, and was it Fulham? It might have been Fulham. But anyway, we are top of the league right now because of the goal difference. Um with the three wins there and I, I feel like Chelsea could um, pose a problem so we've got to really concentrate but hopefully these new signings will help us in defence for sure. I'm just going to change the audio setting. Alright I've changed one of the audio settings which is for streaming purposes something. Um, but anyway let's get forwards. Martin's just run past this man. Oh my gosh. Is, is it really that easy? I thought them having a five back was not going to be it's going to be a bit harder to defend against, as it usually is. But they've just let Martin through already, and it's one now. <laughs> um, I don't know who that left centre back is, because I know Kimpembe's um the one in the middle. But whoever he is, he's absolutely shocking. Oh, is that is Joe Gomez? Which you wouldn't expect him to kind of get beaten with pace by Martin's that much, because Joe Gomez actually has got a decent amount of pace for a centre back. So I don't really know what's going on there, but um. The game loves me, clearly. Six goals and four already for Martins, which is a bit ridiculous. And that is uh, the, st the start we wanted. Right, the audio thing I changed, I was just saying, was um, turning um, audio off for streaming purposes, even though I, well, I just don't want to get copyright claim for something stupid if my channel ever gets monetized some way. But uh, they've just had a shot there. And it's Sterling. And, well, that, that just defines Chelsea's season... In real life, don't it? I mean, that's quite a shocking shot, considering how close he is to the goal. Just, just can't put it in the back of the net. Right, Jackson. Let's give it to Nuno Mendes. He's only got three-star skills, but that's the other thing I have done with Nuno Mendes. I put him on a left wing back um, position change, so then I can increase his skill moves. Right, Maxi Aarons. Don't let Sterling get another shot off. He's already had one, and I guarantee you he's going to do something better this time. Oh, no, 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 no. It's textbook stuff. Oh, for goodness sake. Should have got the ball out there quicker. It's Kante with the goal. Um, I can't really complain about that because that's my own fault. I just I just didn't get a man close enough to a Chelsea player. And, well, as you can see, look. When um, Kante has the finish there, he's just on his own. And he hasn't obviously hit that Koble because they literally never do that. But, um... I can't, I can't complain about that. There's no, no complaints from me. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? All right, they're starting to be a bit harder to break down here. I see Robert. Go on, Robert. Oh, 
He shot it at the keeper. Even though I did try to Vanessa it to the top right-hand corner. Let's have another look at that. I think the issue Robert had there was that he's getting dragged back by his, his man who, who was marking him the whole time. And that probably put his shot off. And we've got 15 minutes more off time. But here comes Sterling again. He's in the box. And I don't know how I've got the ball there. Okay, he finally has got the ball, Maxi Aarons. <laughs> no. Look, look, I mean, look, look at the front three there. As soon as I lost the ball, they all just stood still. Like, that's, that's not worth it. Work. Oh, gosh. Well, now we're losing. And it looks like it's going to be one of those, isn't it? Um, reminds me of Watford in the last video where we had to make the comeback. But, actually, um, we were winning this match early on. So, we should do better. And I said Sterling would get another get another chance. And if he did get another chance, he'd do better. Because he absolutely messed that first shot up. But this one's just gone in. You could argue Coble should do better at the near post. He doesn't really stretch um, to save the ball, but I guess it's just one of those FIFA goals, isn't it? So, Oshchan. Oshchan worldy. Oh, not quite. It's annoying because in my other career modes, um, I have uh, Kamara from Aston Villa, a CDM, and he's got no shooting, but he scores worldies from outside the box. It's actually bad. Um, and I'm so annoyed that I just can't get one with those chat in this career mode because it'd be scenes. What else has hap been happening in the, the world of North City since I last recorded? Nothing. It, actually, nothing. We'd already signed Ashley Barnes, I'm pretty sure, last time I recorded. Hopefully, he will bring some togetherness into the team. Hopefully, he gets played a decent amount. Um, especially whilst Hanley and McLean are out still. I don't know how long McLean's supposed to be out, but I know Hanley's supposed to be out for ages. But that's half time anyway. Um... 2-1 to Chelsea. It's going to be one of those where I have to really concentrate in the second half to make the comeback. Um, but to be fair, we actually had a, a few shots ourselves. So I feel like we'll probably be able to score in the second half. Yeah, yeah it was. It's alright. No, come on, referee. Like, as soon as I... I swear to God. As soon as I pass the ball to them, he's like, yeah, I'll go back for the offside now. And that's not where I wanted to pass it anyway, but luckily uh, Ziyech is, well, he's he's dragged it wide. They've done that a couple of times. They've got to be careful. We can't give them t simple chances like that, even though actually it wasn't really my fault that the ball went to them. But up the pitch, there's five defenders, but there's three of us going forwards. And here's Roberts. Roberts got through. Just shoot, lads. There's Roberts. Come on, Robert Lewandowski. Not Robert Lewandowski. The French Roberts. He scored the goal. Is he going to celebrate? Please do. Go on. Yes. Bit. Oh, there you go, lads. Oh, it's a lovely finish as well. And that's the second time Roberts had the shot with a man, well, kind of dragging him back. But luckily this time. Oh, look at that. That's on the left foot as well. Maybe he should try with his left foot more. I think it is, isn't it? Oh, it's a lovely finish. And, and actually, the keeper did get a hand to it. Or fingertip. But a fingertip doesn't usually save save shots. Um, with that much power, anyway. Uh, and that is 2-2. Two, two, but we still need another goal if we want to win this, you know. No, no, men's. Come on, lads. I know your defensive stats are quite rubbish right now. And I need to improve them. But, um, well, actually, you don't need to defend, lad. If they're going to take it off the pitch for you. Very helpful. Oh, no, are you... That was not a foul. I thought it was a fair tackle. We're going to have to watch that again. Is that not a fair challenge? I think it's because it di he didn't kick it with his foot. It hit his knee or something. Oh, this is dangerous. This is so dangerous. I don't like this. I don't like this. He shouldn't score from there, though. It's too close, surely. I think that's too close. Yeah, it's too close. Please. Oh, my goodness. Nearly deflected in, but luckily Koble's able to readjust just about. No, I can't. I can't. Thank you. Thank you. Defend Defending's so much different on old gen than it is in new gen. They, they played really differently. In, in new gen, they love a cutback, but in this, I swear in this, they don't. They just kind of go forwards as much as possible, and it's so hard to adjust when you've been playing on next gen uh, quite often. Space, space, space! He's hit, blimmin' mu- He's hit, Thomas. Well done. 
that just sums up how rubbish we've been, actually. Right, right, we, we, got, we got two minutes, we got two minutes, we got two minutes. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Please, this is the chance! Yes, come on, at the end! Oh, dear. How have we managed that, then? How have we managed that? It's Vega. Thank, thankfully, I'm so happy that wasn't Robert or Martins because they have actually missed a couple of really good chances. Um, this match, and it's, it's a new boy. Well, it's not a new boy. Uh, Mendy should have come out for that. <laughs> Vega takes a heavy touch. But we're the last kick of the game. We've somehow managed to win it. I don't know how we've done it. It's the fine margins. And, well, I, I, I knew as soon as um, we got the goal kick there, um, after they took it off the pitch, I knew there was enough time to get another chance if we just didn't lose the ball. And Vega has managed to get it in the back of the net. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. And there's it it's another comeback. <laughs> another comeback win. But this time, it's cutting it. Cutting it very close. But we have the three points. Um, and I knew... I said... but I think I said before the match, Chelsea were going to be a, a bit of a problem. And, well, they nearly took two points from us, basically. Um, but luckily, we have left um, Stamford Bridge with all three points. Oh, well, I've turned all the <laughs> audio for streaming purposes, and it's very anticlimactic without it. Rene is the next match in the Champions League. We are going to play some second team players. I, I just don't think they're a good team, really. They, di they didn't show enough in the last match when we, we, we just played them. So I'm going to play a lot of subs here. Okay, this is the team we've gone for here. A lot of changes. Um... Now, I'm just looking at the fence and looking at Guardaval. He actually had quite a rubbish game. And, and, and in fact, Nuno Mendes had an awful game. I think the issue with him is he's got high stats in, like, pace and dribbling. But his defensive stats are shit. Uh, not shit. Bad. His defensive stats are bad. Um, which is probably why um, he just couldn't contain... Who was he against? He wasn't... It, it was one of the wingers. I know Sterling was one of the wingers. But he just, he just couldn't defend. And that's what we need to um, increase, clearly, is um, defensive awareness, at least. Okay, Doki, here we are for the second match of the video with absolutely no music. But here's the crowd sounds, thank the Lord. At least they help some um, some climax. Uh, because the lack of music really um, is, 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 is quite sad. But uh, anyway, here we are against Rene for the second match of the video. Um... We're at Cow Road this time. We should win this. We beat, we've already beaten this team like 7-0. And uh, looking at um, some of the players we have. This is basically the second team, most of, this, most of these players. The fact that we've got a player with 98 pace up top. And then you've got Rodriguez and Caduce, who were like first team players for the last three seasons. You've still got a thief who we've had from the start. And I've left Vega on, apparently. Oops. Didn't quite mean to do that. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> it got bit, it's like, oh, this team is probably better than like the, the team we had at the start of like, the second season. Or the, even the third season, but it's kind of mad. I feel like Rene will play better this time, although they you'd think they'd play better in a final, wouldn't you? So. I'm committing fouls. No, never mind. Sent him through the advertising boards and he just kind of glitched back through. Interesting. Casado. Poloski. Poloski! Oh my goodness, off the crossbar. That was a very slow shot. <laughs> it felt like it took forever to get there. And it was slowly dipping. It had a lot of height on it, but because it was so slow, it just was dipping. And unfortunately, it just smashes the crossbar. Um, keeping it couldn't do anything there, just because of how high it was. Um, but not a bad first shot, considering the circumstances. <laughs> uh, it's, it's probably because... Uh, no! Oh, Kobol. It's one of those where you get the ball, but you can't react in time to pass it. Which is really unfortunate. Then got your ticket, except you're in the stadium. Oh. Come out, Koble! Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't get the ball. I can't believe we're losing to Rene when they've been so rubbish. Maybe I underestimated them. Maybe I thought they're going to play just as bad again. And, well, they have scored a goal. Which is a bit of an issue. We have to watch that again. Let's have a little look. Uh, uh, just a through ball, and yeah, it's Big Andy again, I think, is it? Yeah, it is. Big Andy's just been beaten. Look at him, he's running away. <laughs> he's, he's decided to run away. He's like, I, I missed the ball, 
someone else could deal with it, except they have scored the goal. Um, and that was a really bad bit of defending. Who scored? M Magua? Uh, Mag Magua or something. Oh, lovely through ball. You have to pass it out. Surely. Oh, no. I thought I'd just pass it out and then back in because the keeper was running after the striker. So I thought it was going to be right in position. But the last pass was just too close to the keeper again. No, he's blooming done it again. This right back's got awful stamina. I've just looked. His stamina's already that low. Right, good save. That should be saved, though. It wasn't a very hard shot at all. And uh, the player I was trying to defend with kind of got stuck on... Yeah, he got stuck. It was Big Andy. He got stuck behind one of their players. So, um, that just uh, encouraged them to take the shot. Go on, give us. Give it. Give us the ball. Oh, no. I knew as soon as I got through to him. It's, it's, I'm not, it's, it's just my fault. This is what I get for playing so much of my other career modes. <laughs> you just have to adapt. Because they, they're always trying to go forwards in this. And in the other one, I swear they always go down the wings, cut it back, and get a, like an easy tap in. But this uh, here, they just kind of just try and get it forward. Which, I, to be fair, is a bit more realistic in my books. Um, but we're, we're not defending against it. So, it's 2-0. This is really not good at home in the first UCL match. But it is half-time, which gives us a bit of time to regroup as a team. And hopefully, sort ourselves out. Maybe sub someone on. Alright, so at half time I put Maxi Aaron's on and Martin's on because we need a bit more intensity and some of that defensive um before um play was really quite rubbish. Oh it's a lovely through ball to Vega. It's Vega! Could have given it to Martins. Of course he saved it. Of course he has. Of course he saved it. And so is Asar. Oh it's a brilliant bit of play though early on. I'm just a bit annoyed that that hasn't gone in. Oh he's on, right? He's on. He is on. Vega again. He's blooming missed the target this time. And after getting that blooming winner against Chelsea at the end, he's had two really good chances early on in the second half, and he's missed them both. Oh, Chan. Oh, Chan. Oh, Chan. He's absolutely smashed it in the back of the net. It's 2 1 now. And it's not a worldie as such, but it is not a bad, not a bad finish from the lad who's probably only got like 50 shooting. Let's probably check. I don't actually know these days. But um, I kind of had to pass it back because they just had so many players going towards my like uh, attacking three. And as you can see, Oshan had loads of space because of that. Um, and he's done better than Vega, clearly. From further out, what a finish from the CDM. Lovely stuff. He does celebrate with Vega, and, who, and Vega's probably saying, wow, you're better than me at shooting, lad. You might as well take my place. Swap positions. But anyway, it's 2-1. Defend, defend, defend. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I can't defend sometimes. I think the big issue I've had this match is that every single player has decided they decided to only have half the pace they actually have. Like, I just I just got the ball with Pelosi a minute ago, and he's easily been caught by his defender, but except the fact that Pelosi has 98 pace, I don't understand why he's decided to to turn into a slug and just not go anywhere. But um, it is 3-1 now, which is really annoying because Ozchan just scored a marvellous goal. Oh, it's lovely from Martins. Go on, lads. Vegas through. I swear to God, Vega. I swear to God. All right, Vega's finally got one in the back of the net. 3-2. We still need two more goals again. But there's, there's 20 minutes to do it. And we have been a bit better going forwards this half. We're finding the pockets of space a lot better. Um, and we've, we've probably had like five shots already. Vega's had most of them. But I think putting these subs on has really helped. I mean, you saw what Martins just did there with the, with the tackle. Really, really nice from him. To get the ball back there and then give it to Vega and he just he just scores, thankfully, this time. <laughs> but um 3 2. He's on. He's on! Poloski! 3 3! Poloski! Come on! 15 minutes left to get a winner, maybe. Oh, it's lovely stuff. We're a bit in the rhythm now, aren't we? Much better from the forward players who decide to actually run 
um, fast, which is surprising, considering they, they have 90 plus pace, most of them. Um, and Caduce's through ball is lovely there. Just waited just in time um, before uh, the man went offside. And it's a great finish. Polowski, I think that's only his second shot of the game, but he has hit the crossbar, let's not forget. This time, he hits it in the back of the net. If we end up winning this, it's another comeback. <laughs> another comeback. That'll be three in the last three matches that will have been comebacks. He's on. He's on. I know he is. Oh, what a ball to Vega. Come on. Vega, please. Yes, ball three. Comebacks on. I know there's still six minutes and we can bottle it. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past us to bottle it because we have conceded three interesting goals. But um, <laughs> Vega... He's found his rhythm. He's actually hit a brace. He's finally found the back of the net twice in a row. Imagine. And um, to be fair to him, he has been the spark. That's the reason we are winning. I think he might even have an assist as well. Because from from the start of this half, he's just been attack, attack, attack. And you get rewarded if you keep doing that. And, well, we're now in the lead. So, very good stuff, Mr. Vega. Uh, two goals in one match in the Champions League. You love to see it. Vega's there again. Oh, we're through again. It's Poloski again. Come on, Poloski. Poloski. Oh, gosh. Right, he's a new player, so we we can't, we got to let him off. Um, reminds me of what Robert's chances he had in the last match. He's just been dragged back, and clearly Robert is a lot better than Poloski at the moment. Right, referee, blow the whistle. Yes! Another comeback. The fans go wild. To be fair, we should be beating teams like this when we've already beaten them 7-0 earlier on in the season. And it's not even that long ago. It's only like three, four matches ago, isn't it? So, <laughs> I think, to be fair, I think Vega deserves to be my man of the match. Yes, he had a couple of missed chances early in the second half, but... He really was the player that just got the, the attacking play going quite a lot. And to be fair, he's, he's one of the only first-team players I left on the pitch. So it shows the um, difference between first and second team. Oh, Nuno Mendes is ready to be a left wing back. So let's swap him. All right, so what we want to do here is get his skill moves up. And then as soon as he's five-star, put him back at left back. Which, actually, he might not even be five-star by the end of the season. So, I guess we'll, we'll find out. He probably will be. 27 weeks to 87 rated. He's got um, three bars on the uh, skill moves stat thing. So, it should go up quite quickly. And the other thing I got to say is that I've decided to loan out Texera. Uh, we are, I didn't even realise we have four left-backs. Which is the reason I've decided to loan him out. We, do, we don't need four left-backs. We've just got Nuno Mens as well. So... You know, loan one out, keep the other three just in case one gets injured. You're all good. Uh, someone wants this done for 500k. Yeah, blimmin' heck, I don't want this guy. He's awful. All right, so hopefully this time the um, the negotiations are actually uh, successful. But we have sold them there for 520k if they are successful. So not too bad, considering how bad he looks. <laughs> But anyway, um, for this next match, bloody neck, West Brom. I didn't really even realise they're in this league. And look at that, they're playing a fullback. They're more ambitious than Blumen Chelsea. Imagine. Um, oh, Vegas stamming, great. Hmm. Do I play Jolis? That is the question. Yeah, let's just play Jolis. Yes, uh, and I'll put um, I'll put Vega on the bench. Okie dokie. Uh, Anti-climax once again, but the fans here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to get used to that. That's actually outrageous. But here we are, Norwich versus West Bromwich Albion, here in the Premier League. This should be an easy win. We have beaten Chelsea in this video, and surely West Brom will not pose much of a problem. Um, I think they've only just been promoted. I cannot remember them being in the league last season. Um, so yeah, this should be an easy three points for us. Hopefully we can get a clean sheet because we we just been out of the, the defence. The defence needs to do much better. Radovall and Jackson and Nuno Mendes definitely needs to have a much better match than he did against Chelsea. 
One issue I might have this season is because Oshan is basically on his own in the midfield. Might pose a big problem. Might invite a lot of pressure down the middle. Um, especially against the better teams. But we've got, we've got to maybe change the formation a bit if that does happen. But all we know is there's a lot of attacking threat. Lovely. Should be a goal. Lovely stuff. Um, just an easy goal. I mean, I kept running with whoever that was. Was it Robert? I, I can't even remember. I wasn't even looking at him, to be honest. I was looking at the man in the middle. It was Adley. Very good positioning. I could have played it earlier to him, but I just felt like if I cut back, then the keeper won't kind of spring onto it. Just get as close to the keeper as possible, then pass it. And that's exactly what we've done. And Adley's just on his own there. He even took a touch. I could have hit it first time, which is actually what I wanted to do. But it um, doesn't matter because no one's near him at all. Um, which allows him to take an extra touch there. But... Um, Lovely stuff from Adley. Easy tap in. Probably one of the easiest goals he's ever going to get in this career mode. 1 0. That might be their downfall, West Brom, playing a full back, because they probably aren't that good. Oh, oh no. Right. Nuno Mans. That's a, that's a red. <laughs> I have just absolutely taken him out, but the referee doesn't care. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Let's not start this. Right, Guard of all. Well done, lad. I think that's the first proper um, tackle I've seen him make. But look how many players are attacking. It's ridiculous. Nuno Mendes. Come on, lads. Nuno Mendes. Nuno. Oh. Just off target. And now he gets the yellow card for that shocking challenge he made <laughs> a bit earlier. Let's have another look at that account. Let's have a look. Oh, it's lovely. Look at this. That is two-footed at its finest. Let's go. Um, but luckily it's a video game. No VAR, so it doesn't matter. I don't know how I got the shot off there, to be quite honest. That's why I stayed quiet. I was like, yeah, they're easy defending this. But somehow jar has got a foot to it. Look at the, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's actually quite a quite a cool shot. But it's at the keeper. Because I, 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 well, I mean, I didn't point the stick anywhere because I thought I wasn't going to get it. But here's a corner. Oh my goodness. That was, that was a good save, to be fair. It was... Go in far post. Keeper stretches his arm to out towards it. Oh no, is that the keeper? Never mind. Oshan. Oshan. Oshan! Oh, I want an Oshan worldie. Absolutely smash it, lad. Good tackle. Lovely, lovely stuff from Jackson there. Okay, 1 0 at half time. We can work with this. Um, Had some really decent chances, but we've given away couple of silly fouls which they've kind of created their chances for and their count is not too badly especially at the end there they could have maybe done a bit better but Jackson with a good tackle but we'll take a 1-0 lead at half time it's lovely from look at that Jackson's aggression there is outrageous it's gone to the ball instantly and here comes Robert Robert on his own Robert it's going to be another tap and it is Two tap-ins for 2-0. And this time is Robert to Martins. Two different plays from what it was before, I think. Uh, maybe that's not right. I think maybe Robert's done that twice now. But anyway, it's, it's Martins with a finish. And it's probably easier than Adley's one. I mean, there's literally no one there this time. For Adley's one, I mean, there were a couple of men on the line. But look at that. He's just got an empty net in front of him. And sometimes you just have to score these kind of goals to get the wins. I mean, we've had other chances from... Like longer range shots and shots from tighter angles, which we haven't scored. So we kind of need to get these in. And we have, so it's really good. But 2-0 early in the second half. Thank you very much. Yeah, their defence is awful. Robert, 3-0. Look how quick that ball control was outrageous from Robert. That's ridiculous. And yeah, their defence, that's... The issue, that they should have played a five back at least. But I know their defence just is... A West Brom defence is going to be really bad in comparison to other teams we've played. But that, that control from Robert is ridiculous. And that finish is lovely to go alongside it. And, well, considering we won everything last season, I think it's just going to be even easier this season to win everything if we do end up winning everything. Because we've got... Our front three is outrageously good. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> oh no. That's my fault. That's very much my fault. 
so much for the clean sheet. Um, that's the first time I think I've ever done that. What I've done there is I got it with Cobal and I pressed Y. I didn't lob it. I pressed Y, which I think is quite clever, isn't it? I mean, I don't know what I was expecting with a whole line of West Brom attackers, but it has gone to them. Um, and <laughs> they have scored. That's my own fault. I can't complain. It, a lot of these goals today that I conceded, I just can't complain about. Just my own fault. Oh, no. That's good. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to bottle it. I've got to be careful. If that goes in, there's only one between us. And in that position, you just... You just look at West Brom and go... You might get a draw out of us, but... Luckily, Cobalt's made safe. Oh, dear. got to be careful. Oh, my. Oh, my. What a save. Oh, my goodness, Cobalt. I thought for sure that was a goal. After he made that first save and I saw it go down for the head of the West Brom player, I was like, yeah, it's a goal. But Cobles managed to adjust. No, I just don't think they have enough time to score twice, but I guess there is eight minutes. Not impossible. Oh, what tackle? Except um, it's behind his man, so... Oh, my goodness. I might have talked it up. I did just say I don't think they have enough time to score twice, but they've still got four minutes and they've just scored. I've got to be careful. Um, that's just annoying because those Chan does get his the ball there, but because he's behind his man, he just can't take the ball from him. He's just too far away when he makes the challenge. Okay, two, three, two. Thank you. Yeah, that should be full time. Lovely, lovely bit of defence there. Thank the Lord that's over. They were playing much better in the last thirty minutes there. Um. We shouldn't have conceded twice. We've conceded so many times a season already. It's ridiculous. Like, have we even got one clean sheet? And I don't think we have got any clean sheets in the, the Prem. Except we've won every match because we just scored the goals. But um, I think it's still a deserved win, even though West Brom played alright. I think over the 90, we played the best football. Alright, so wrapping things up today. We're still top of the table. There's a couple of teams who have only played four. And... Um, a few at the top have played five, but I mean, Man City have a game in hand, but if they win that, they'll be on 12, so we, we'll be at the top no matter what after match day five. Um, very poor defensive performance. That's all I have to say about this video. Um, we get the goals like we always do, but me thinking Gradovol and Nuno Mendes are going to make an instant impact in defence hasn't really worked out as much as I'd hoped. Um, we've conceded, did we concede at least two every match? I think we did, which isn't very good. However, if we look at positives here today, um, a really, really good comeback against Chelsea. Last kick of the game, Vega, oh my goodness, scenes, which has kept us at the top of the table, and there might be a crucial two points come the end of the, uh, end of the season. Um, but actually, looking at the table here, I did not even realise, because we've conceded 10, our goal difference is the same as Spurs, who have only conceded 3 themselves, which is which is very, very good, actually. Um, you wouldn't expect Spurs to be doing this well early on, because they're Spurs. Um, but, actually, I've just seen B Bournemouth, Blumenek, 7th place, they've only got 8 points. What is going on in this league? It's such a weird league. I know it's only been 5, but 8 points for 7th. It feels a bit low. Maybe not, actually. Max isn't 15. But anyway, let's put that aside. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, which has been very, very end-to-end. -end. It's just, in all three matches, it's been... You have really good bits of play, and then five minutes later, you decide to become bad. That's what, it, that's what it's felt like. And so, like, Chelsea, I scored the early goal, and then they, they instantly scored their goals. <laughs> Who do we even... Who's our second opponent? Rene. Yeah, and then against Rene, we played really poorly in the first half. And then second half, peppered the shots at him, managed to get the win. So I don't really know what's going on there, but um, I guess the wins are all that matter. But at this, at this stage, we really need to be getting clean cheats in matches like this. But um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new and um share it with your mates get us um in the youtube algorithm to help the channel out um but i hope you all got 
that's good English that hope you guys all have a brilliant day and I'll catch you guys in the next video this has been Mini Gimenez signing off and peace